video, we're going to take a look at the new dynamic gradient. So I'm going to hit the space bar to open up my directional nodes, and I'm going to choose gradient dynamic, and that's going to place the new node here into my graph. So let's just kind of zoom into this area and take a look at what we have. So the gradient dynamic is an extension of the default gradient map node. And what it allows us to do is to remap values. So for instance, on this gradient, we have two inputs. We have a grayscale input and we have a gradient input. And so what we need to do is feed in some values here into this grayscale input. And the dynamic node is going to remap those values based on the gradient that we place into the second input. So let's take a look at how this is going to work. So let me just zoom out here on my graph a little bit and just give you a little context to the noise I'm going to be working with. So here I have just a noise that I grabbed here from the library. And I'm just doing um, a transform on it and just a few blurs here and a directional blur. And then finally a levels to get this value. So this is going to be the grayscale values that I'm going to feed into the first input. So let's go ahead and make this connection. So now that I have this in place, what I need to do now is create a gradient that I want to remap these values to. So here in the library, I've searched for gradient linear. And so I'm just going to use this node. Let's just left click, drag and drop, and place this here into our graph. If we double click, you can see that this is the value that we have. This is just a linear vertical gradient. So let's go ahead and plug this guy here into the second input. Now I'm going to double click the gradient node so we can view this here in the 2D viewport. Now, on this node, if we take a look at the parameters, we have two options. We have horizontal and vertical. Now, this gradient that I'm feeding in is a vertical gradient, so I want to make sure that I switch this to vertical. And so, at this point, you can see that we're not actually doing any type of remapping. So, what we need to do is start to adjust the tiling here on this gradient. So, let's select this node, and let's start to just increase the tiling. So, as you can see, when I start to increase this tiling parameter, the dynamic gradient node is taking the values from this noise and remapping them to this gradient. And by increasing this tiling, you can see that I start to get this wood pattern. So for my tiling, I'm going to take this up fairly high. So let's go about 60 here. So here, this is what I'm going to get. And now what I want to do is take this pattern and just pipe this into my graph. So here I'm going to take the output and just go ahead and plug this here into my blend so I'm replacing this levels. And when I do that, here you can see that we now get this wood pattern here applied to my texture. So let's just move over to the outputs. Uh, here is my output for my base color. Let's just double click and this is the value that we get. So as you can see, the dynamic gradient node is a powerful node for remapping values to a gradient and can be used for creating patterns such as wood.